Hello, sisters and brothers here at St. Matthew's Church. Well, it is the third week of Easter. Alleluia, Christ is risen. And uh, I have to say that for me, my Easter practice changes as I go through the Easter season. For the first week, uh, it's all about recovering from Holy Week, and that's always true. It's just trying to get my strength back. And then the second week, I'm often trying to take care of church matters that have arisen. And by the third week, I'm beginning to wonder, what is this resurrection thing anyways? And how might it be real for my life? And as I have those questions, I begin to realize that it could be another season of Easter where Easter and the resurrection doesn't really make much impact on my life. There was this guy, and this guy had a beautiful rose bush, and he knew it was the most precious rose bush in his entire collection. He also lived near an interstate, big highway, say I-40. And he thought, wouldn't it be lovely if I took this most beautiful of all rose bushes and put it right near the highway. In that way, the thousands of people who drive up and down that highway could see this most beautiful of rose bushes every day. And that's what he did. But we know what happened to the rose bush. It didn't do well next to the highway with all the dust and the fumes. It got dried out, hard to fertilize, hard to water. And eventually, of course, it just gets run over. And I have to say that preaching resurrection, or as a priest trying to live into resurrection, is kind of like that. It's like the rose bush, but life is so busy. Life just keeps going on, and it's hard to take time to savor and, and uh, let ourselves be changed by the resurrection of Jesus from the dead. Although this is the most astounding miracle and the proclamation that creates the church and which drives all of Christian life, it's kind of hard to pay attention to it and give time to it in a way that makes it real. And this is particularly so because we get all spiritual for Lent. <laughs> and then once Lent is over with Easter, we're like, whew, I'm glad that was over at the exact time when we could be savoring and receiving and allowing ourselves to be changed by this miracle of Jesus' resurrection. And, you know, today, uh, this is April 21st, I went in online to try to find daily meditations on Easter, on the Easter Gospels, something that I could give my parish uh, and give myself to help me stay mindful of the resurrection of the dead <laughs> uh, for all of Easter, you know, every day. And it's a bit depressing. I mean, you can buy some books, I guess, on Amazon or Bookshop about this. But um, there's all kinds of online meditations for Lent going up to Easter, but almost nothing for Easter itself. No 50 days of walking with Jesus into this mystery of, of his resurrection. So what I'm doing with you, what we're doing together this, this Easter, is we're having these Sunday forms to talk about resurrection and something else. It was resurrection and reentry house last week, that place for uh, people just released from prison, the transition house. This week it's resurrection and creation which I'm really looking forward to exploring with you with poetry and, and uh, different kinds of meditation. But I also wonder if we can't find a, 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 like a parish practice for Easter to spend a little time in prayer every day, just welcoming again the mystery of this resurrection. And to that end, I made a short little Easter season personal devotion for the parish and I've put it down in the email body below 
I invite you to print that off, print off the uh, image of Jesus. I put a few also in the email below. And just take, you can give the risen Jesus 10 minutes a day. <laughs> we can all give 10 minutes a day to God. We can, we can do that. 10 minutes is not a big ask. We all can afford 10 minutes. And uh, just take that time to go through this little prayer and this little devotion about what, 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 what the risen life can mean for us and to ponder it and to give it time and space in our hearts. So, my brothers and sisters, Christ is risen, hallelujah, the Lord is risen indeed. And uh, it's my hope and intent this year and years to come to learn ways of walking with you through Easter to make this more and more real for us because it's inescapable that this resurrection of Jesus from the dead is in fact the origin of the church and the origin of all of Christian life. And it is the source of our mission, of our purpose, of our song. God bless you all. Take care and see the announcement below about a special vigil being happened to, happening tonight as well. God bless. Bye-bye.